in the Dharma textbooks in Thailand, when they talk about the different kinds of ceremonies, they say some are auspicious and some are inauspicious. And they put funerals in the inauspicious category. Well, this has nothing to do with Buddhist teachings. It's more a Brahmanical teaching. Because as the Buddha said, any, any circumstances that give rise to a sense of uncomplacency, give rise to heedfulness, those are auspicious. Like in the case of Jan Mahabhu's funeral. It gives us a chance to reflect on his life and all the good that he's done for the world. There's what they call three types of help. There's when you help yourself, when you help your relatives, and you help the world. And he did all three. So you look at his life, then you turn around and look at your life. Okay, What are you still lacking in your life? What kind of goodness for yourself, for your relatives, for the world that you haven't yet done that you would like to do? Well, you have your chance now. When you die, you won't have the chance. You'll be off in a new life and just having to struggle learning how to negotiate that new life. But now that you've got an adult body, you've got an adult mind, you've got the ability to develop all kinds of goodness for yourself, for the people around you, for the world at large. So do what you can. An event like this is a good opportunity to stop and reflect on your life. Which of the different perfections are you lacking in terms of generosity, virtue, renunciation, wisdom, patience, persistence, truthfulness, determination, goodwill, equanimity? All of these are excellent qualities that we can build into the mind. They don't belong to any one person or any one group. Anybody can build them. They belong to the person who builds them, let's put it that way. And you can be one of those people, too. So look in your life where you're lacking these qualities, and you've got the chance now to build them up. Okay, go ahead. You want to build them up as big as a mountain? Fine. There's this, that's not called greed. It's called having initiative, which is one of the virtues of being a human being, is we have this opportunity to decide what we really want to accomplish in life and work at it. So if you work on the qualities of the mind, that's the best use of your effort and best use of your time. And then it spills over into help for others, help for the world. So take this as an opportunity to develop some more heedfulness so that you're not as complacent about each breath coming in, each breath going out. We tend to throw them away, throw them away, unless we really use them to develop some goodness in life. So take this opportunity to figure out what kind of goodness you want and then determine that you're going to see that determination through.